Oh, look at that. That is so cool. guys back with another video and today we are going to be cutting some oobleck all right so this is the oobleck uh if you don't know what it is it's uh cornstarch and water mixed together and it's this liquid looking thing but then it's solid i don't know this stuff is super easy to make in case anybody wants to make it at home let's show you how we made it real quick all right so first you're going to start off with some water all right, and then you want to add some cornstarch. You don't really know how much to add, so uh, we'll find out if this is enough. All right, so once you add all the cornstarch, you want to mix it. All right, so we went through almost two boxes of cornstarch, and that's how much oobleck we got. So this stuff's pretty cool. It's like rock hard one second, and then, and then if you just lightly touch it and don't apply any force, it's a liquid. I don't know. I don't understand it, but who cares? You don't have to know how it works to cut it with a guillotine. All right, so we're going to cut it on a couple different things. We're going to cut it in a little styrofoam bowl and a plastic plate. This one's a little deeper, so it'll have the blade will have more oobleck to go through, and this one's wider, obviously, because it's a plate. So uh, it'll have more surface area to try to stop it. All right, so we filled this bowl up to the very top, basically. It's hard to see because it's almost the same color as the bowl, but then now we're going to add some food color into it. Alright, so we're going to attempt to make a lime green color. Um, this is actually yellow even though it's red. I know it doesn't make any sense. Alright, so six drops of yellow. Let's do one of green. And now let's uh, attempt to mix it. All right, so so that's green enough, I guess. I mean, it's it's gonna take another 30 minutes to mix it perfectly. All right, so now let's uh, get all this stuff on the plate if it'll come out. All right, we got it all on the plate. Look, now let's add some food coloring to this one. Okay, so if anybody tries this at home. Make sure you add the food coloring before you mix the cornstarch in because this is just impossible to mix. So so while this one gets mixed, let me show y'all this one. Look, that that's obviously liquid. It's all liquid like. Like but then look. There's not even anything on my finger. But then... Alright, we're back outside and uh, first up, we're gonna try to cut this uh, rainbow looking oobleck stuff. Alright, so let's see if it can cut through the oobleck. Alright, in three, two, one. Look at that. Oh, it's slowly dripping. Look, it's it's a liquid, but it, it it's a liquid that breaks and then it just kind of melts slowly. That is so cool. It's dripping everywhere. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, so we put the two halves of the plate back on and uh, let's see if uh, it'll cut them again. In three, two, one. This 
stuff is so cool. It like, it just kind of breaks. All right, so now let's try it with uh, two bowls. And uh, I think it might be a little more difficult for it to cut through because it's a little bit deeper. Uh, so I guess let's see what happens. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. It's just, it's just gooing everywhere. Oh man, this is a mess. Maybe one day it'll drip. Okay, maybe not. Alright, so this stuff was pretty cool. I kind of expected for it to cut, because, I mean, it's... It's a half liquid, half solid. Alright, thanks for watching. That's going to do it for this video. Um, if y'all want to make this stuff, uh, rewind the video and watch the part where I show you how to make it. Or I'll put in this, uh, the description how to make it. But uh, remember, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.